everybody, it's me. Um, so you guys know me from Twitter. My name is Christina. Um, Christina Aelian. I'm Armenian. But I'm going to go by Becca just because I love that name and it's just easier to pronounce. So you guys, I'll answer to either Christina or Becca. Um, hate my last name. Hate my name. Uh, <laughs> so, okay. Um, I'm here to talk about something really important to me. So... I know I'm getting flack for this and I, I really don't mind, but so I recently discovered that um, on top of being blind, I am also autistic. <laughs> yeah, I know. Kind of late, right? <laughs> so um, I'm going to tell you the, I'm going to tell you the story from the beginning. So my kind of lead up to my self-diagnosis. So... I, um, as a blind person, I, a lot of my lack of social interaction or difficulty with social interaction was uh, dismissed because, you know, oh, it's a blind thing or, oh, you know, you just, you just don't know. Um, a lot of my, like, things were just dismissed. Uh, let's see what else. And so I kind of, I'm sorry, I keep um, stumbling. I just haven't scripted any of this because there's, I just don't want to script this. I want this to be real and as honest as it can be. Um, so I didn't even think there was anything, you know, different about me really. Like I knew, okay, so I knew there was something different. Let me revise that. I knew there was something different, but I didn't know that there was a name for it. I thought it was just the blindness. I thought it was, oh, I'm different because I'm blind. That's, that's it. Uh, and I got depression, or I got diagnosed with depression, um, officially diagnosed with depression when I was 14. Or, I'm so sorry, when I was 17. There you go. Like, when I was like 16 or 17, I, I think I was closer to 17, yeah. I got diagnosed with depression. And, um... I'd been doing okay, and so I watched, um, I sat down and I watched a show on Netflix, it's called Atypical, um, many of the, um, autistics in my audience are probably going, oh, bad rep, and yes, in a lot of ways it is stereotypical, but that show was kind of what made me realize, oh, shit, there's actually something different about me, and that's fine, um, I, I, after, please understand that this wasn't just, I watched one show and I went, oh, I'm autistic now. No, 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 no. I did all the research. I took um, a couple of like online, those like self-assessments. Um, I took one of them like three times and I took another two, something like that. And I mean, they were legitimate tests. Um... Yeah, I kept getting autism spectrum disorder, autism spectrum disorder, disorder, and I was like, okay, this has to, there has to be something to this. I researched the symptoms, you know, lack of flexibility in routines and um, um, repetitive behavior, trouble with social interaction, special interest behavior, and I was like, okay, yes, 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 this is me. Like I, I'm sure. Um, all of the, especially like the late diagnosed, um, like adults in my audience are going to resonate with this part because I sat there and I swear I was, I felt liberated. I was like, there's a reason I'm not crazy. I grew up with a mother who told me I was crazy, who told me that I was, who would sit there and say, oh, um, don't do that. You won't have any friends if you keep doing that. It wasn't, and it, she wasn't trying to, you know, gently teach me social interaction. She was just being, for lack of a better word, a bitch. You'll see, trust me, I don't, I do not like my mom, trust me. And it's not just liking, I don't, I hate her. Well, anyway. Um, and so I did all of this research. I read all these articles from people who, um, who had been diagnosed late I read all the statistics that, you know, women are diagnosed late because of masking and because of, and then I, I watched um, a bunch of, you know, videos from people who were on the spectrum. Uh, one of my favorite being um, Neurodivergent Rebel. I watched, 
her videos like all the time um, and I've, I'm still watching like I'm just going through these videos and being like wow um, and so I'm, I'm sitting here and I'm like god there's women just like diagnosed in their 30s 40s 50s I'm like wow and so that whole like for example that whole myth about um, you know it's um, it's more in men. Yeah, I don't believe that. It's, I say it's a myth because honestly, I feel like it's equal. It's just that women are way better at hiding it. I mean, come on. Women are expected to freaking give birth to a freaking baby. I'm sorry, but we have to be strong. And unfortunately, sometimes that strength turns into, uh, we, us needing to feel like we need to hide major parts of ourselves. I do that. Like I'll be having depression. Like I'll be having a, you know, a moment and I just, I cannot cry. I don't let myself cry and it ruins me. Eventually I explode. I, I break. Oh, okay. So the point being, so I called my best friend and I was like, this was my exact reaction. I kid you not. I called her. So let's pretend this is my like phone is in my hand. I put my phone into my ear and I'm like, she was like, hello. This, it was two in the morning, might I add. This was my reaction. I'm autistic, oh my God. <laughs> and she was like, it's two in the morning. I was asleep. I'm like, okay, I'm sorry. I know, I know. I'm so sorry. You were asleep and I didn't mean to wake you up. But I was shaking. I had to tell someone. I had to tell the world. Someone had to know. Oh, but it's amazing to have a word that describes me. Like I stim, I... Like, there are names for these things that I do. Um, lately, I've discovered that words are a thing. I didn't really do this as a child. But, oh my god. Um, words. Words. Oh my god, words are beautiful things. You can write with them. You can make a point with them. You can listen to their sound. Perspective. Cooperation. Neurotypicality. Oh my god. Whew. Jesus, that, that is the real joy. Forget money, forget gold, forget fame. Give me a giant dictionary and I'll stim with all of it. <laughs> okay, that's a slight exaggeration. But, and I mean, there, there were times that I doubted and I was like, I can't be autistic. I don't, I'm not always like, I'm not really literal. I'm not, um, I'm not... I can read between lines when people are talking to me, like I can understand what they mean. And then I realized, you know what? I grew up with parents who forced me to be, for lack of a better word, normal. I grew up with people who talked in metaphors. I was really good at English in high school. So I think that's where that comes from. So, I mean, for whatever the hell it's worth, yeah, self-diagnosis is valid. I am autistic. I know my own body better than anyone. So who's to say I'm not? That's, that's not anyone's decision to make. I've done hours of like research and just thinking about my own mind and my own like things like, geez, no. Like, okay. Um, the thing too with, um, the thing that really hit me too was, um, I exhibited special interest behavior before I even knew what it was. Like, if I read a book, oh my god, okay. So, like, if I, if I watch a show or I read a book. All right, so I have to, I have to watch, for example, let's just say it's, like, okay, look, let's take Atypical. I was obsessed with that show. I still kind of am. Um, so, Atypical, I had to learn about all the actors. I had to learn at least a few of their personal lives. Um, I had to read about how the show was developed. I had to learn about like what each episode was about. I had to read about it. Um, I had to read fan fiction. I considered writing fan fiction. I wrote some things based on atypical. I used the names of the characters in my stories. Like, oh yes, this is what I'm talking about. This is, and it's, it's wonderful to have a name to all this. So this channel, this is kind of an introduction, so you've kind of, if you have any more questions, my email is linked in my, um, 
the about section of my channel, if you go there where it says for business inquiries, you can write me um, an email either if you have any questions, you can tweet me at readings life, uh, no apostrophe. Um, so this channel is going to be about my life as a blotistic person. <laughs> Fun term, right? <laughs> so uh, my life as a blotistic person. Um, I'm going to talk about anything from how I am affected. I'm going to talk about how um, how I'm affected, how I um, perceive things because of my autism and because of my blindness. That's another thing too. I was born um, perfectly fine, but I was born premature, one to two months premature. And at six months, I developed cataracts and rattle detachment. And so now these things right here, see these things? Yeah, they don't work. Um, and I also have a neurodiversity pin that I stem with. I am a firm believer in the neurodiversity movement. Here, I'll show it to you guys. Ah, not, try not to prick myself. Here you go. So I don't know if you guys can see it. I'm trying to point it correctly. It's just, this is not going to be fancy fancy editing. It's going to be me, the blue snowball microphone, and my iMac. It's not going to be fancy. I'm sorry. I can't edit for crap. <laughs> So, um, if you guys have any questions, again, tweet them at me, email me, if you know me personally, ask me, I really don't care, um, I will include your questions, um, you can ask me anything, literally, like, literally any questions you have about me, you can ask them, um, nothing is offensive, I mean, after all, me of all people, why would I be socially inappropriate, or why would I be, why would I care about being socially appropriate, I've never cared, I mean, come on, I, like, I don't, I'm not one of those people. Um, I believe in being yourself. I don't believe in, I'm sorry, but to me, social appropriateness to an extreme is honestly fake. You're, you're forcing yourself to do something you're not. Like, I'm not polite. I'm not perfect. But I love the fact that I am me, no matter what. Whether I am socially appropriate or I'm not, that doesn't matter. And so just go ahead and I'll see you guys in the, in the tweet, tweeter feed, Twitter feed. I'll see you guys in the tweets and the emails. Um, all right. Peace.